Hello, today we'll be looking at the reaction between powdered iron and powdered sulphur when we add heat. Now before we do continue with this, a bit of a health and safety warning. When this reaction happens, it will release a large amount of a toxic gas called sulphur dioxide. Now we've taken measures to ensure it's perfectly safe within this room. However, please, please do not try this at home. We are going to start by measuring out approximately 10 grams of iron powder. Owing to the small size of our weigh boat, we do need to do this in two separate measurements of about 5 grams each. We are then going to measure out 5 grams of sulphur powder. Now due to sulphur being so much less dense than iron, this is once again having to be done in two separate measurements, each of about 2.5 grams. The powders are then added into a small crucible and given a stir to ensure good contact between our two elements. For our source of ignition, we're using a heated steel bar. Instantly upon contact, we can see sulphur beginning to melt and combust. It does, however, take a small amount of time for reaction to properly take place. But after about two minutes, we see the reaction fully take shape. After about two minutes, we see the entire mixture begin to combust with sparks of iron shooting out and a glowing compound of iron and sulphur forming at the very tip of this steel rod. And there we have it. There is our compound of iron and sulphur. But let's have a bit of a look at what's going on chemically in this reaction.
the mole ratio of iron to sulfur is approximately 1, which gives us a relatively simple equation of iron in its solid state plus sulfur in its solid state being converted into an iron sulfur compound once again in a solid state as we saw during the demonstration. The standard heat of the formation is approximately 100 kilojoules per mole. And that does bring us to the end. Please do share, like and subscribe and carry on learning. See you next time. Bye.